what's up guys welcome to today's video where i'm hooking up with my good buddy anthony winkleman and he's going to help us break down kentucky lake Fish on. that's a toad brother Golly. what's going on guys anthony winkleman out here out on kentucky lake fishing with chad hoover from kayak bass fishing i now call this my home this is my home lake now i'm out here I've been out here pretty often the last several weeks, of course, and uh, fishing a few local tournaments. So I kind of have an idea what's going on today, but we're gonna get out and try to figure out uh, if we can find some of these, you know, it spawns happening. It's going down, we got beautiful weather, the wind's a little high, but uh, hopefully we can get out and get on some good uh, pre-spawn spawning, and there may be some post-spawn fish. Uh, as we get going because we had a warming trend about a week ago and the fish were up shallow they were doing their thing they were spawning and then we had a cold front come in and really kind of hurt it a little bit so um, i think the the key thing is going to be fishing around docks fishing around structure it's what i've seen to be finding them on the last few times i've been out and uh, somewhere around that two to four foot range has really been key right now out here on kentucky lake um, bait wise you know the water's a little stained so maybe a little bit darker profile some green pumpkins maybe some uh, uh, black and blues uh, some of course some bladed jigs you know spinner baits jackhammers whatever you want to throw uh, we should be able to catch them all on that maybe get a few on a crankbait i don't know we're going to toss it around a little bit and hopefully we can get on some fish out here There's one. Oh, this, that's a, there we go. There. Still fishing on that pattern of uh, the little support beams for docks. Nice little chunky bass there. I don't, it's definitely not going to call from what we've been catching, but uh, definitely a good 15 plus inch fish. She's got a nice little belly on her. It's going to grow up to be a big, big Kentucky Lake bass. Again, on that swim jig, I'm telling you, if this isn't bought out in the local shops around this area, whenever you guys get here, I'm going to be surprised. If, but definitely a good fit. Definitely a nice little, be a decent tournament fish to catch. You'd want to call it eventually, but. Can't go wrong. Look at that little dude right there. Got some shoulders on him too. Right there off of that little rocky point, he thumped that chatterbait. They're chewing. Way to jig. There he go. Oh, we'll test the length on him. Twelve and a half. Woo. It'll keep, baby. Giants. It'll keep. Giants. On the board. I guess where that was. Same spot you just threw out a while ago. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I just got him warmed up for you. He got a, he was aggressive with, like, came after it. Hey, think about how many tournaments where somebody was one 12-inch fish away from being in the money that they would give anything for it. Uh-huh. This morning we hit those steak beds that you saw us hit, and we caught those couple okay fish i mean they were good tournament fish i would take those any day of a tournament i'm pretty certain most of you guys would as well uh, you know they were somewhere around 15 16 inches nothing huge but they're good tournament fish uh, as you saw well after we went we fished some docks we did some other things we caught fish around them as well not necessarily as big but some of them were of good quality and then uh 
We circled back around to the same ones. A few hours later, we just let them rest. I'm not big on circling, you know, hitting them all and then restarting over again because I feel like it gives a chance for fish to move in and out and it paid off. We came back, I scored an 18 and three quarters, went over to the next one, scored a 19 and three quarters. I mean, that one was, that was a good solid fish as well. Uh, and then I threw right back in and another one picked it up and took off. I just missed the hook set on it. And it was almost the same exact cast, the same spot. So it could have been the buck, could have been another female bedding down in that stake bed. Not really sure, but you know, hopefully the bike keeps going and we keep finding more of them out here. We may have to make a move with this wind, but you know, it's going pretty good so far. There's gonna be a fish around here somewhere. It's gonna, there's gonna be a fish around here. Ain't no doubt. I mean, it's it's about to go down. You, you gotta, you go up shallow there, but it's like a drop off right here. Try to tell me there's not a fish around here. Probably get a lie. But you said there wasn't. So the female's got to be somewhere around this three, four range, I, I would feel. But the water, I mean, because the water's not six, 65 yet out here. Yeah, I'm going to move up there. I like the look of that grass, but it's just too shallow. I can see the bottom from here. All right, just uh, saw a nice little spot, had a nice little uh, drainage, co drainage coming into it and right at the end of that and then right up against the dock, against one of the, uh, one of the supports, it just kind of really just felt a nice little tick and hammered down on the jig again. You can't, I mean, gosh, that thing's just nailing fish. That was a gut, such a good bait change. I mean, we just got one on the bladed jig, and uh, but it was small. But this one just keeps getting the big fish right here. I don't, I don't know. Something about it for sure is definitely playing the game. We're gonna get a measurement. Take the trusty dusty net that I didn't even have to use this time. Using the jig, use heavy enough line. I use 17 pound fluorocarbon for my jigs sometimes 20 is good but i think 20 can be a little bit of an overkill especially around here it's not a there's big fish but they're not sometimes they're not really as heavy and there's not a lot of structure that you're going to get caught up in all right Get our photo here Oh yeah, 18 and a half. Now that's another solid fish. I mean, shoot. As long as it'll get the tail laid down. Get that mouth closed. I don't know, we may have to go 17 and a quarter. Tail's a little dirty. Oh, uh-oh. I hate when that happens. It just hurts the fish. <sighs> okay, get a quick picture, get her back in the water. Okay, picture's taken, get her back in the water. 18 and a half. Been a little feisty, she may jump. Wanna go for it? Okay. Oh. oh that was a good that was a good swim off. That was that was good. Solid. Can't go wrong with a good old jig bite. Here on Kentucky Lake. So things I really 
you know, love, like uh, about Kentucky Lake is you have such a vast variety to fish. If you're on the north end, you're not gonna find as much grass, but you may find a lot of structure. You know, he's, you'll see us fishing, fishy stake beds a lot right in this area. It's because there's not quite as much, you know, we have some boat docks to fish, but we don't necessarily have, you know, there's some lily pads down south. There's such a huge variety. So, you know, up here we fish boat docks, stake beds, um, lay downs if there is any, you know, we gotta use that side scan, find some underwater stuff. But then we can go right across over here and there's some bluff walls that just drop down 20, 40 feet. You know, you, you have a vast, variety of species of fish here as well you got small mouth large mouth and there's even spotted bass as well um, of course you know you'll always hear about the carp population that's being taken care of actually They're, they've been allowed netting commercial fishing and it's really decreased the population and the bass fishing has i mean I've, I've actually fished in Kentucky Lake a lot more now than what I did in the beginning because the carp population is kind of coming under control um, you know and as you move like central of the lake, you'll find a lot of smallmouth, or I personally find a lot more smallmouth central of the lake. And as you go down south, I tend to see, I, you'll see still smallmouth, of course, on bluff walls, rocky points and things like that, and just random areas you may catch one. But down there, I see a lot of big largemouth caught. Uh, south end is always known for putting up the big bags. It's just, are you willing to make the drive and take the chance of having to give up some fishing time for a tournament so you can get back to check-in because some of those areas one you don't have cell service and you may have to drive an hour to get it and then two it could be an hour and a half two hour drive to get to whatever check-in that you got to get to so you know you have the best of both worlds you can fish longer up north because there's cell service everywhere central area almost the same uh, you know and you got one side you may have you know residential living area and you have this like what you see behind us and then another area you may go across the lake and it's just nothing but wilderness and wildlife so you can see deer just walking through the water turkey eagles you know so it there's a great just it's just a great great fishing lake now it's coming back a lot of bad blood has been said about kentucky lake over the years i feel like since i've been here and doing this and kentucky lake's coming back that's for sure Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a favor and help support the channel by downloading the Fishing Chaos app now so you can get in on the action.